Now I'm going to show you one of the trickiest tricks in Inkscape. I'm going to start by adding text to my bottle cap, always a great idea, but, and here's the tricky part, I'm going to make that text curve. So it follows the curve of the cap itself. This is a great way to get text into a design while not having it overlap a big central image. Okay, I'm going to start by clicking on the text button and typing out the name of my brewery. I'm making a bit of a pun on a Tully's uh, tortoiseshell coat. Now up here, you have the font that you can select, its size, um, all the fun font stuff that you can format. Um, but that's already looking like I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and give that text a white fill with a black stroke. Now, that stroke looks a little too thick, so I'm going to click here on the stroke bar, pop up, go to stroke style, give it 0.4 for its width. There, that looks a lot cleaner. Now, if you move that over to the image, you can already tell that's going to pop. It's really important to pick good colors for your font that work with the rest of your design so everything turns out legible. Remember, a bottle cap is pretty small. Okay, now I'm going to create a curve so this text will follow the curve. I need to tell the computer what shape to follow. You can do this trick with pentagons, with spirals, with stars, with whatever. But I'm going to do a circle because it is the cleanest. I click on the circle button, hold down control if you're on Windows, command if you're on a Mac. So you can click and drag a proportional circle. Looking good. Okay, now I have my circle selected um, and I'm going to click on the text, holding down shift so I can select both objects at the same time. Go to text, put on path. You can see this little icon here is showing me what I'm about to do. Bam, now I've got curved text. Now it's not quite at the right orientation. That's because when I drew the circle, it starts here. Um, that's okay though. If I click on the circle, just a quick way to do this is rotate 90 degrees. And now as you notice, the font followed when I rotated the circle. That's because these two items are linked. Now if I wanted to, I could add the name of my beer. And as you can see, the text follows, uh, excuse me, text follows clockwise on the outer edge of the cap. Um, this is sometimes a really nice choice. I've done a number of bottle cap designs just like this. Um, but for this one, I want to have a single top orientation so that the other part of my text is going to read in a, in a counterclockwise fashion. Okay, cool. Now if I were to move this text over to the circle, you can get a little bit of a preview of how it's looking. You're going to want to have the text nice and evenly spaced here around the top, even though it's following technically the bottom here. Now if I click on my circle, if I make my circle larger, if I make it smaller, I'm essentially changing the angle of the curve of the text. That's because these two items are still closely linked. If I also move the circle, I move my text with it. Um, that's because um, they're essentially linked in Inkscape. If you wanted to destroy that link, you could click on the text, go to path, object to path. And that would then change your text from text into a path. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, while that does allow you to get rid of a circle, it does change your text into a path, so it's, you can't go back and change fonts and make different design choices later on. So go ahead and live with the circle for now, would you? Okay, cool. Um, now I'm going to do the second part of my text. I'm going to type out the name of my beer. Bit of an imaginary beer here. Um, and I'm, like before, I'm going to have this match, so I'm going to give it a white fill holding down shift, clicking on black with a black stroke. Again, that's too thick. Get a point four. Okay, now we've got corresponding text. I like it when things match. Heidi Klum, forgive me, I like it matchy matchy. Okay, now I'm going to click on my circle. I'm going to go ahead and copy it because I'm going to need to tell this text to follow a different path because we're going to manip manipulate it differently. So copied that circle, pasted it, Make sure that you give this circle in particular a transparent fill so you can see what's going on. And just like before, I'm going to click on my text, hold down shift, click on my new circle, text, put on path. And again, just like with Motley Brew, the name of my beer followed around the outside clockwise of the circle. We wanted to follow counterclockwise, and there are many different ways to do this. The fastest way that I found is to take a little horizontal button here on your circle and turn it inside out. And again, because these two are essentially linked, they follow, uh, the text follows. 
Uh, and again, we don't have quite the orientation that we want, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it 180 degrees. Cool. Um, now I'm going to move this over here and I'm gonna line them up. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this circle. If I line up both circles at the same time, this is going to give me a better sense that the text is following the same sort of curve. So I'm going to try and top orient this to the best of my ability. That looks a little bit spacious, so I'm going to shrink my circle a little bit. There. Now you can see that it's more or less following the same sort of curve. So the final look, and this is for all of you OCD designers out there, um, so the final look will work. Okay, cool. Now, you will notice here the spacing between the letters, it overlaps. The kerning, that's what we call it, is off. And that's because this is following the inside of the circle, whereas this one went to the outside. So I'm going to click on my text. Over here, I have control over the spacing with my text. Um, here we have the spacing, the spacing between the letters. And I'm going to go ahead and increase that size, 95. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, now we're starting to match more of the spacing here on Mount Nebru. Okay, that looks about right. You can fiddle with this all day long, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and move my text over to the design itself and try to get it to follow the curve of my natural cap design. Cool. That looks pretty nice and clean. Okay, one final word. When you're ready to export your design, make sure that you export the page. If you export the page, then you're only going to export the graphics that are on the page itself. If you export the drawing, then you're not only going to get what's on the page, but you're also going to get your extraneous circles over here. Meh, you don't need that. So make sure you export with the page. And that is how you get circular text in Inkscape.